My name is Nicole Van Tassel and I teach fifth grade at Grandview Elementary. I'm Mariana Bernstein. I am the music teacher at Grandview Elementary School. My name is Sherry Schaefer and I teach here at Grandview School and I teach kindergarten. We are talking about the Building Thinking Classrooms and Mathematics um, book and book club that we've been doing here and the practices that we've been putting into place from our learning in that book. It really resonated with me because it was telling the hows and the whys of this building thinking practices and I was really excited to get started with it. I went into it a little bit apprehensive because I'm a music teacher and this book is geared more towards math teachers, but I quickly learned that there were a lot of things in the book that I could use in my own classroom, especially with note reading and learning that skill for music literacy. This is my first year teaching math. I've been a science teacher and I've always loved the inquiry approach, so I was a little bit nervous teaching math because when I learned math it was very much I'm the teacher I'm going to tell you what to do here's the procedure just follow it and you know spit out the answer so what really stuck out to me are really two things that our students can use inquiry can figure the math concepts out figure out how to solve problems using mathematics in a really student driven inquiry based way by building on their previous knowledge by building on what they have been learning the students can really puzzle it out and figure it out on, on their own with our guidance and then also the emphasis on flexible ways of solving problems. It really forced them to do the project on their own instead of waiting for me to give them the answer. It was on them to create their answers. So that part of the book really resonated with me with this project and I was I was blown away at how well they responded to it. And we do our thinker tasks a couple times a week and the students love them. They, they walk in the room and when they see that I have different things on the board, they go, oh, we're gonna do a new thinker task. And one person holds the marker and then the other person tells them what to write and then they're allowed to trade. So a lot of social skills with kindergarten, especially in the beginning. I think student engagement is actually embedded in this because they're up, but they're moving, they're talking, they're collaborating, they're showing what they know and then they can reflect on what they have done. And we do a gallery walk after, so the students have their hands behind their back, and they walk around, they look at everybody else's work, and they're always so amazed because all the answers are different. And it has a natural differentiation to it because the students are solving tasks but they're solving in their own way. So they're doing many different things on the boards. When you walk around, it's very, very interesting. Well, they really love those. It's just like brain teasers or brain puzzles. We've been doing those a lot regularly at the beginning of class as our bell ringers or warm ups, And it's really neat because those are the types of tasks that even the kids that might struggle with some of the mathematical concepts, they can participate in those. You know, they feel comfortable sharing their ideas. One example is like, what doesn't belong? There's literally no right or wrong answer. So everybody can start talking about why they think this fraction model doesn't fit with all of the other ones. And so you get a lot of participation from even the kids that might be more hesitant to answer when there is a right or wrong answer. And then they really, really love working at the vertical whiteboards as well, which was one of the strategies in the book. So when they get a chance to go and work with their classmates and solve the problems on the boards, that's always a really fun time for them in math class. I made a, a project for my students to do using, you know, five or six notes on the xylophones. And their job was to take those notes, arrange them as a group in an order that made sense to them musically, and then we were going to learn how to perform them. It kind of gave them more of an opportunity to personalize it, and that was one of the big takeaways I thought from the book was making it more student-centered and also you know, putting the, uh, the onus on the student to think for themselves and come up with a project that they could not only create themselves, but then learn how to play back to demonstrate their learning. The second step, we do SEL lessons and feelings lessons and having them really express even words or pictures to go along with our theme for second step on the board and walk around and see their different thoughts and what, what they're able to represent on the boards for different topics beyond math and even beyond language arts. So I'd like to extend it even further and see what they come up with for these learning tasks. That's what my goal is. There's definitely things I want to work on. Um, you know, at the beginning of next year, I want to spend a little bit more time on those non-curricular tasks and really building students' collaboration skills so that they are 
um, better able to you know support each other and make sure everybody is involved. I do think I will do more of these collaborative projects in the future. Um, I definitely want to try it with my younger students. Um, my fourth graders had great success with it, but I really think that I could I could expand and you know maybe do some primary lessons with group projects.